this is Chatty Dad One coming at you. I have recently been paying a lot of attention to um, the temperatures of our oceans and what's going on. And what I've discovered is very not cool, very bad for our environment, for sea life for a lot of things. As you can see the drastic changes here going on. And this is from uh, I'll shoot it, but it goes up to 2011. And then it stops. And I'm going to show you in here in just a minute uh, some of the most startling things that I found. It's 2009, that's 2010, right about there is where the uh, Gulf Stream stopped. And it stops in 2012, which is when the effect was starting to show up very evident um, some of the stuff that's going on now. It's affected the jet stream which has been one of the reasons we're having these severe storms and all this stuff going on. Um, very bad for our planet, for us. And something that we're really, really going to have a time struggling with. Anyhow, let's get down to this. This is from IntelliCast. This shows water surface temperatures and water temperatures and from what I'm seeing this is up here um, Seattle up in Washington okay what I'm seeing here is up into the 90 degree you know 90 95 degree water temperature and if that's the case, we have got some serious problems. And I've seen this a lot here and there. Um, this has got a bunch of different ones. But, you know, it could be a nuclear facility there dumping in its hot water into the ocean, into the bay. But all this is up in the 90s, you know, and far as I know, fish don't live in 90 degree weather. If they do, then they've had to have changed in some way. I mean, this is very hot here. It's very warm, according to weather-wise. You know, as far as our planet goes, this is some warm temperatures. Very warm. This is down San Diego way. Up in uh, San Diego Bay, it's got some red areas. It's, you know, hot water. Here's down lower. Going down into Mexico some. And I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's some serious heat. And uh, this was taken just the other day on IntelliCast. This is ha Houston, Galveston, up in here. See, all along the coast, we're reaching, we're reaching uh, temperatures in the 90s, at least in the 80s. And it's, this is not good. I mean, I'm curious as to what What's the temperature there, you know? All right, well, I don't know what the deal is there. But what's going on with our temperature, guys? We're seeing extremely hot, hot temperatures where it shouldn't be.
not quite so bad in Florida because it's right there at the mouth of the Gulf. Some hot spots up along the coast, east coast. Not so bad there. Look at the Gulf Stream. This is cold water getting down here as far as you know the Gulf Stream goes. I'll show you a picture from uh, 2002 I believe. That red street stream goes way up here. And we don't see the swirling taking place here. We don't see the swirling that should be going on. If the jet stream was really flowing, or I mean the, the Gulf Stream, if it was really flowing good you'd see those swirls. This is some hot spots out in the middle of the um, Atlantic that I seen didn't quite know where exactly it was I thought maybe it was around Canary Islands but it's not here's the Canary Islands here all looks pretty cool I'm gonna do some comparison here with Google Earth and this is the same place. I thought maybe some of this heat was coming from the the rift there in the in the ocean, but I don't believe it is. I think it's coming a little bit off to the right of the of the Atlantic rift there. I think it's over here somewhere. And, it, and, you know, we should be seeing some hot spots here because that's where the fault lines are, but it's not. See, we're seeing them over here to the right. And, and here's pretty much center of it. It's going down like this. And it looks like they've spliced this here maybe to make it look more cooler. But look at how hot this is. Look at that. Coming straight off the tip of Africa. Very hot water. And see that, that's only in the orange. That's uh, maybe 80 degree water. 85. But it doesn't even get up below, or I mean it doesn't even get up above uh, Washington D.C. area. And it should, it should be going way on up there. See here's the big rip here in the mid Atlantic. There's those islands. And here's where that hot spot is somewhere. Around in here, I believe. But we've got some serious problem. We have got some major hot spots that is not good for our planet. It's going to be devastating for us. I mean, look at this. Look at this. And this is this spot right here over here in Venezuela. I mean, I bet you they don't have any fish living in that lake. I mean, what happens when your fish tank gets too hot? Your fish die. Could we be seeing the death of part of our oceans? And see, look at this. Look at this red coming up here. Look at how much it's swirling. I believe this was in 2002 this is from. But look at this. Man, you know that thing is moving when it's you got swirls coming off of it like that. And we didn't see any swirls like that on the other. And here's just some pictures of, you know, showing you some of the movement of the Gulf Stream. It should be really moving. And it's not. It is stalled. See, you don't see the swirls. We should be seeing these swirls here. Like it was in that red picture. And it came way on up here. And it, it kicks off here. But I mean, we, we've got a wall right there. Of cold water. And there's also several pictures that I found. That's... Uh, definite weather manipulation. I mean, look how hot we are through the center. This is not good. 
not good for us people. This is real trouble. Look at those areas. Those are major hot, major hot spots. 35 Celsius. You see some of these clouds? They look like they've got um, radio frequencies coming through there. There's our uh, temperatures on the land. My dog's going off on something. My son and my wife was both gone, had taken both the vehicles today, and I was here at home alone. While I was sitting here, a guy pulled up in a U-Haul truck and sat in the yard for about a minute. I was in here with the shotgun waiting to see if he was going to try to come inside or anything, but he, uh, and I've got no trespassing signs posted, but uh, he sat out there for a minute, maybe a minute and a half, and then pulled on out. He didn't have a the U-Haul sticker and all decals was not on the vehicle anymore, but it was a U-Haul uh, van, moving van. I imagine he's scoping me out because there was no vehicles here. But he's going to have a surprise if he tries to uh, come up here and take our stuff. I'll hold him here till the law gets here. Make sure they get their man. <laughs> I don't want to have to shoot anybody. I would hate to do that. But I'm not going to let somebody take my stuff just like that either. Look how filthy and dirty this looks. You can tell the difference between this. This is smoke. Look how filthy and dirty that looks. But look at the clouds. Definitely uh, weather manipulation appears to be. This is pictures taken from... Um, space and here's another pretty bizarre picture I'll put links down to where you can uh, go and, and look at all these they're pretty neat and there's the Gulf Stream there they're showing some of the difference. You see this right here? That's frequencies going through them clouds. Those clouds definitely got pulses going through them. Anyway, I didn't want to make this video too long, but it's getting long up there. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off for now. I just wanted to show you guys this and, and let you know my concern of what's going on with our planet and what I've been seeing. We, uh, I don't know how we can get the Gulf Stream started back again, but we really need it to go. We really need it to start again. The jet stream's out of whack, too. And it's just causing serious problems. That's why we're having all these serious bad storms. Real bad storms. And they're going to get worse. I mean, until this problem is fixed or something, it's going to get worse. 35 Celsius is what we saw back there. That's 95 degrees, y'all. That's hot. That's too hot for our oceans to be. way too hot not good not good anyway I hope everyone's well oh that's for another day hope everyone's well and having a good day happy 4th of July hope it's a good one for us all anyhow take care God bless and good luck to us all Godspeed this is Chatty Dad 1 never give up your guns your rights go right with them Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can. Over and out.